Here's a quick demo video to show you how to take your Looptastic HD mix over to new Studio HD. Start out with a hi-hat part, throw in a vocal part, and uh, start adding some effects. I use the flanger on the hi-hat part, and I'm just flanging the middle mix zone, as you can see. Quick stutter effect. Now I'll add even more loops. Now another effect. I'll throw this bit crusher on it for a sec. I'll probably go to the breakdown. Now I'll just wash the whole thing in reverb. Good, so there I've got my uh, Quickie Looptastic mix. I'll name it. So I have a Looptastic performance. But now I'm going to go over to the More button and choose Edit in Studio HD. I choose which mix I want to edit, and it opens up Studio HD and opens up that specific mix. See all my parts, all my tracks with the loops that I used. And that uh, yellow part is showing me different mix automation. The BY means that it's bypassing going to the new master effects section. So uh, that's what that's showing you. It's showing you that that track is going to the master effects which has got uh, like four different effects. The ones that you saw before, the flanger, the bit crusher, are all assigned to the master effects. But now I can do some other refinement. I can add little fades, audio fades. I can add more loops. I can uh, change my automation, replace my automation with new effects. So uh, now I'm just recording in some volume fades. Here I'm going to fade in the hi-hat part. Great. And I'll throw another effect on it. I'll put a delay on. Now I'll start to automate the delay. So I've got effects automation in new Studio One Two, as well as volume automation, fader automation. You can hear that stutter edit and all the effects that I had in my original Looptastic performance came through as well. I'm going to fix that little uh, volume fade in. I don't think I got it just right, so I'm going to go back and re-record that fade. Here we go. There we go. Much smoother. I felt the waves. I felt the sun. Now it's time to go back, listen to it, find uh, another loop that I want to hear on top of everything. Maybe not that. Oh, there we go. So we'll throw that uh, little blip groove on there. I'll extend my loop out to go longer within the piece. And listen to it. I'm going to find an effect to throw on that as well. So I'll use Bit Crusher. Should sound pretty crazy. I'll turn off some of the tracks so you can hear what's going on with the uh, the effects that I change. Let's put 
put some pan effects on the voice too. All right, so here we're gonna do some pan effects with the new uh, pan control. Choose pan, and the effects pop up. I'll pan it to one side. So I just take the different vocal phrases back and forth, left to right. Now I don't even have to stop it. I can just keep keep the sequence running. Now I'll choose the uh, bit crusher. Add some really gnarly distortion to the uh, that little blip part. So there, that wrote in. And like I said, you can just see where all the automation sits for those little, little strips. I perform some more pan automation. So there on that little blip track, I've added some pan information as well as some... Uh, A bit crusher. If I look at my master effects, those are all the effects I had assigned back in uh, Looptastic. Um, and all those effects I can change I, the automation on, I can uh, get rid of effects. Go in and edit the whole mix. Here's the stutter at it. So you can see all the effects automation that I did in both LoopTask HD and then also you can see the new effects automation I did in studio as well. So now I can just name my uh, final mix, whatever I wish. And then I can save it out as an exported AIF file to bring over to my Mac or PC using the iTunes file sharing. So there you go. That's uh, taking Looptastic projects over to Studio HD.